Katoomba Woomba on the deuce handle McDougal, y'all. Slow Boon Slang coming at you with another DMZ guide. This is going to be how to kill the butcher during the haunting event that we got going on right now. It's only going on for another few days here. We got about like 15, 14 more days in this bad boy. So I wanted to make sure I got a video out there because we're a few days in. First thing you're going to want to do is find the butcher on the map like I do right there, right? It's going to be a ritual symbol, right? It's a ritual circle that is going on in the DMZ right now and in a couple other modes too, obviously Resurgence and uh, some of the Warzone modes. But you're going to want to find that. There's one in Almazra City. There's one outside down south near Hafid Port, right? And I think there's another one on the other side uh, up near Z Zaya Observatory. Those are the three I know of. I think there, there might be more that I don't know of. The one in the city is rough. You will get engaged by teams. The way that you start this ritual and you start getting to the portal that you need to take to get to the butcher, right, is you get to the ritual site and then you go to one of these statues, right? And I think it's a designated statue. One of my one of my teammates did it right there. You start it up, right? You walk up to the statue and you start it up. Now, it's going to start flooding you with zombie enemies, right? It's kind of a horde mode style in the DMZ. You got to take them out, right? And grab the souls while you're doing it, right? Get some of the souls so you can get the the uh, skins for the event, right? Some of the, the uh, cool little blueprints for the event. Why not, right? While you're doing it. Uh, do watch out. When you are doing the Almazra city location for the ritual, you are going to get engaged by the spoon daggly hoops of the other teams here right now see you can see it designates the next statue you need to go start the ritual up at that next statue that it designates right and each line has like two one or two statues that it'll kind of designate for you and you can go start it up at that next area then it'll send more enemies at you now when you're getting engaged, uh, and we did, make sure that you have a good sniper on if you're in Almazra doing this, because god damn, son, they're going to be hitting you from the rooftops. They're going to be hitting you hard from those rooftops, and that is exactly what happened to us. You can see, obviously, I'm running over to uh, to the different statues, and I'm trying to start this up again. There it goes. Bam. Start Started up in another, another statue. The ones that are lit up are actually not the ones you started at. It's the one that's not lit up where you need to start the ritual. Uh, I'm sorry if I if I was uh, misguiding there, but yeah. Uh, it's the one you want to you go to the one that's not lit up. The ones that are lit up have been finished or completed, right? Once you hit all of the statues and you complete the ritual on each statue, it will open the portal to the butcher. Now, the butcher is not to be fucked with. He is hard, man. He, he's, he hits real hard. So the, my recommendations here, go in with a specialty vest. I have the temper vest on that is a great one because you could just put two plates in and be plated up i like that one a lot the medic vest is useful to get your teammates up if they go down i like that one a lot and the comms vest if you're getting engaged by other players but i like the tempered vest that's my recommendation on this one definitely medium backpack or better to have more tacticals and then when you are in the portal after you went through like you see me do right you have to run up to the portal hold square to get in they are going to start spawning enemies, and the Butcher will spawn in and start chasing you if you engage him. He's right there, you can see, with that big old hook, right? He's got a massive hook that he's coming at you with. You need to make sure you clear out the ads, right? That's, that's key in this, because you're going to get flooded, and you're just going to need to be plating up. So I definitely recommend having at least nine or more plates on you before you go in, having an armor box with you, Right? If you have the armor box unlocked, even better if you can just pick one up on the way. And as you can see, make sure you keep clearing these damn ads out. They are hardcore and they just keep coming at you, man. They keep spawning them in. A good sniper is great when your teammates are engaged on them. A good shotgun, even better. So I recommend going in there with a good AR, a good KV broadside, or a good sniper. If you can go in with all three and just have that extra slot filled, have all three weapons with you, that is super useful, especially if enemy teams are engaging you, right? You can also see the Butcher's health bar is giant, bro. He is going to just suck up that damage, right? He is very tanky. So just make sure you're constantly putting damage into him. You can see my boy's got a KV broadside on him, blasting those Dragon Breath rounds, and that really shatters his health. Right, that helps a ton. So the KV is a great one. When the horde starts flooding your boys, make sure you take them out right there. Go for the headshots. But that is my recommendation all around. Uh, the other thing I recommend, always have one or two self reses before you go in there because it is likely that another team in can come in behind you through the portal and fuck you up. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have some self reses to get yourself back up. So do be on the lookout. Keep checking the portal because another team might come in there and just third party the shit out of y'all, right? That 
that is my recommendation, right? I got a transmog out of this one, and that is the other big reward you get from killing the butcher. If you kill the butcher, um, and I think you have to do maybe all six of the enemies, I'm not quite sure about that, you get the transmog for Diablo 4, which is pretty badass. I play both games, I love it. That's really cool that they're doing a crossover where you get something in another game from this game. Make sure you pick up the butcher, cleaver that he drops that'll give you six hundred and sixty six thousand dollars if you sell it to buy so it's pretty dope man definitely pick that up grab that bad boy get out with it you can see that's what i do here i'm kind of just clearing ads to to be able to go pick it up because my boys had already picked it up and they got out right so here you go there you go make sure you can grab it get the hell out of there run to the portal and it's going to drop you back in almazra so you redeploy right with the shoot so know that you're coming in redeploying Right, and you can basically drop to, you know, anywhere that's fairly close to yourself on the map. But hey, really appreciate the likes and supports, guys. Please subscribe. Slow boon slice.